Hey fam, it's Ton, and in this video I wanted to do uh, some product reviews for some products that I bought on eBay and on AliExpress. And I know that a lot of you uh, who are trying to customize or accessorize your, your Highlanders uh, may have seen these products online and wondering are they any good quality or not. Well, I'm going to find out for you. So the first product I want to review, this is the Anti-Kick mats that I bought on eBay. These are carbon fiber printed and they are printed on a leather-like material. Uh, if you remember watching my video where I removed the uh, captain chair's uh, armrests, uh, this is basically the same leather-like material. So um, on eBay, I didn't realize that this was printed on there because I'm sure for copyright reasons they had to blink this part out. But I'm, uh, you know, it, I'll, I'll get used to it. It has the same font as the Toyota Highlander font. So this basically is going to stick onto the doors. So there's four pieces here, two for the front doors, two for the back doors, and they also have these speaker inserts as well. I'm still debating if I'll stick this on my speakers. 95% I won't. Uh, but I'll put these on first to see how that looks. Basically, I wanted to give my Highlander a little bit more contrast from the um, the current um, interior colors, which is the graphite gray color. So applying this on, this will give it uh, some nice contrast and it's going to give that additional protection because uh, I have been occasionally accidentally kicking uh, the bottom of my um, the door on the driver's side when I get in and out of the vehicle. So applying these on, these came rolled up in like a, like a roll. And so if you're going to buy something like this, I would recommend unrolling it, putting it inside the house overnight. So that way you can let the ambient temperature, room temperature, um, flatten it out. And basically I just laid it on the carpet floor overnight like this. And it was able to get this flattened out the next day. Um, the adhesive material, it's not 3M, but it's this Crown, Crown brand. So this is what you'll get. Again, front door. This is the back door. This is where the speaker would normally be. So they'll have that cut out there. So you'll watch me apply these on and see how well uh, the cut is uh, compared to the actual door itself. Uh, two other products that I will be uh, reviewing today is this one right here. This here is for the actual front seats itself. So again, I want to add some contrast. So about this, this right here is for the driver's side door. So the driver's side seat, I mean. And it's not blue. Uh, it still has this protection plastic on it. But once I peel it off, it'll show you like this really cool looking um, engraved blackish gunmetal color. So this is what I'll be installing onto the driver's side. And then it has one for the passenger side as well. So we'll stick that on as well. All right, so let's go ahead and install these three items onto the car today. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the low hanging fruit, the easier stuff. I'll start with uh, applying this. We just got some 3M uh, tape on the back, peel off the, the cover. And then we're going ahead and stick it right here where the uh, driver's side um, controls are for the seat. So it'll look something like this once we put it on. Again, gives it a little bit of pop and that additional contrast. All right, so first thing we want to do is make sure that we clean off the uh, control buttons as best as possible. So I'm just going to squirt my microfiber towel with my trusty old Chemical Guys all-purpose interior cleaner. Just wipe away here. Make 
sure we can get off any grease, oils from my fingerprints or from my fingers. Get that all off. As dry as we can. Now once we got that done, we can then take this. I peeled off the red backing on all of them already. So just pull them off. Now, I'm just going to eyeball. Pretty easy because it was just the, the frame will fit right into the indentations of the, uh, the seat itself. From that point, press and hold. my microfiber. In the process of cleaning this, we can use this to put pressure onto the double-sided tape on the back side. And so far, you can see the contrast already. Right? It gives you that pop between the, the light gray and this uh, brushed black. What do y'all think? Looks good for me. All right, just repeat that process on the other side. Peel off this blue uh, protective uh, cover. Peel off the tape on the back and put it on the passenger side and you're good to go. Next, uh, I'm gonna skip this and we're gonna go straight into applying uh, this uh, kick, kick mat here. I'm going to show you here, here's my existing, you can see some scrapes with my shoe that I've done. And so I'm going to make sure that we're going to protect this part right here by applying that on. So first thing we're going to do, I got my painter's tape. I'm going to clean this off again with some uh, cleaner and afterwards I'm going to um, just do a, a quick dry fit and tape this up. All right, so slight delay, y'all. After a minute after I ap applied uh, that uh, <clears throat> stainless steel piece onto it, I did a, a quick tug test after a minute and I was uh, able to pop it off pretty easily, which tells me that the double-sided tape that came originally with the product may have been sitting there for a while or it's been sitting in cold storage before it's shipped to me. And so I did have a roll of fresh 3M double-sided tape. I'll put a link in the description for this as well. Uh, I bought this a few weeks ago when I was applying another chrome piece onto the back of my, my car because I had a fear that that might have been the case. So get this jazz as backup but I went ahead and reinforced it by applying some fresh um, 3M branded um, double-sided tape. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off and then apply it back on here and we'll see if that's gonna stay put this time around. All right, hopefully second time's the charm. solid so it looks like that did the trick y'all so if you're gonna do this mod get some 3m uh, 3 double sided tape branded 3m double sided tape all right we're over here on the driver's side I already sprayed it down gave it a good wipe down with the microfiber here is what it looks like with the branded 3m tape applied over the existing double sided tape so learn from my mistake or learn from my experience. Go ahead and get yourself uh, this 3M branded tape in advance if you're gonna do this mod. So now I'm gonna peel this off. We'll go ahead and apply this on. Oops, gotta remove 
this blue protective film off of it. Look at that. Glossy. I'm going to go ahead and find a nice spot for this. Get the microfiber, two birds with one stone, put pressure and clean it in the same motion. Right, so just push along where the double sided tape was. There's a double sided tape right down the middle here. Let's go ahead and do the quick tug test here. Yeah, solid. Looks like it's not going anywhere. All right, what do you think? You like the contrast? This also comes in carbon fiber, but I wanted to go with this look because it, it's more it's more appealing and pleasing to Tan's eyeballs. All right, now let's go ahead and move forward and put on these bad boys here. So here's the piece I'll be applying on and what I'm going to do first is rip off uh, several pieces of this painter's tape and we're going to dry fit this on and tack it on and then I'm just going to peel and unpeel until it is at the position that I like where it's mostly aligned. So this first piece can probably go right up here. Another piece right here. And let this kind of free hang for now. I just want to put it on just so it's kind of hanging for now. So the next spot I'm going to put is right here. Again, this is not a perfect fit. We're just trying to put it on. And then once we got it properly seated, we can adjust it as necessary. This piece, I'll go ahead and I'll angle it right here. I don't know if you can tell. This notch right down here, as long as this notch is aligned with this accessory light right here, and then we can just adjust the rest of this kick pad um, so that way it aligns based on this center piece right here. At least that's what I'm going to do. We'll see if that works. Oh, move the camera. All right. All right. And this one will go right onto there. So, so far, dry fit. Well, now I'm going to use my eyes and adjust. I'm going to lift this tape up here, I'll lift this tape off back here, and I'm going to align it. All right, so it's positioned to where I want it to be, so now we can start peeling off the back here. Good part about this. 
says you kind of scare it off a little bit because it's misaligned. So you get it back to where you want. Trip it around. This little cutout right here for this crease right here. Trusty microfiber, press the dial down, push the corners down. So what do you guys think? And this is what the final product looks like. You know what? I dig it. I like it. It definitely covers up that scratch that I had back here from my foot. And it's a nice fitment all the way around. This is what it looks like at that crease right here. Not too noticeable. This here, when I bought it, the pictures did not show this Highlander font here. But now that it's there, I wasn't too sure how I would uh, like it. But you know, it's growing on me because it has the official toy la uh, Toyota Highlander font. If it said Highlander here and some other crazy cursive, that, that would have been annoying. I probably wouldn't have applied it on. And now that I think about it, and when I'm looking at the speaker grill, again, it comes with it here, right? But I like the way it looks without it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off. Um, I'm not gonna bore you and record the other three doors, but I will show you what they look like once I apply them on. But uh, just to, uh, to just kind of give you an idea what they look like. Again, leather material. This is a carbon fiber um, pattern. And that's what it looks like. What the heck? I'll just show you. This is the driver's side front door. Uh, sorry, the passenger side front door. And um, applying it the second time around, I found it most beneficial to adhere this big portion right here where it has the, um, the Highlander logo on. Plaster this part on first and then you work your way down and then these two uh, ends uh, at the fork will be the last that you'll be um, um, sticking onto the, the door panel. Uh, it's worked better that way. So that way, start from the inside out, get this part in and then you can work around the corners. This part right here has a lot of um, flexibility so uh, this gives you an opportunity to angle. You'll see right here, it has like a, some overlay, but it's very forgiving material. So just to work it slowly like this, and then it'll all go away. See how that works? Let's work it with your fingers, and then you can actually manipulate it so that way it blends, and you won't see those creases anymore. that this crease is gone now 
and then you just kind of work your way all the way to this side. Take this tape off since it's done its job. Peel off the rest of this. Again, if you stick it on, you can actually peel it off and manipulate it so that way it fits. So when I'm sticking this on right at this corner piece right here where my thumb is, I'm, I'm, I'm angling it for where it is in the fork. So it looks good right here. And then I'll just focus on this top piece and I'll just run it with my thumb along the top. Make sure it's still aligned with this speaker. And if that's on, bam, see how easy that was? You just press that in and then do the bottom part. Same thing, take your finger, align it along the speaker line. And once you got that on, it's just press hitting it on. Angle this top part down. Slowly but surely. That's what it looks like on the top right here. Force that down. Just cover the creases. This angle right here. Look at that, beautiful, piece this down. All right, y'all, let me show you the finished product here. Let's open the door. This is what those kick mats look like. What do you think? This is OEM right here. And this is that leather carbon fiber um, pattern right here. Doesn't look too bad. I think uh, I would give it an eight out of 10 for a product rating. And I'll tell you why I deducted two points here. Uh, this is what it looks like for the uh, second row. I didn't really want to put too much carbon fiber inside my car, but from far away, when you walk up to it, it's very, very, it's not noticeable. And so I really like that. It just kind of blends in. So again, this is the OEM plastic right here, and this is the kick mat installed right here. That's what it looks like with the plastic speaker grill exposed. I'm gonna leave it off. I mean, I'm gonna leave the um, covering off because I think I like that look better. There you have it, y'all.